Ben. Hello Bert. Who you been at? I've been down your house. Mary said you forgot your sandwiches. I got them here for you. Good woman. She made me a lovely cup of tea. Oh well. What you been doing then? Muck spreading. Oh well. The job you're pretty good at, so I've been told. Ah. So what you doing then? Got me some work up at Farmer Dimmock's for Saturday. What's doing down there then? Keep sure in. I hear your old mate George Arkwright's dead. Ah, oh, he got himself drowned, did he, did? How'd that happen? Well, we was down fishing on the Severn. He wanted fish on the opposite bank. Well, I was catching fish out of fish, me. Poor old George hadn't caught a sausage. Then come towards night, he gave up and he wanted to come across to see me. Told me to shine me torch across the water and he walked over on the beam. But everything was all right till he got the middle. What happened then? Bloody batteries ran out, didn't they? Well, George, he wasn't the brightest spark on the planet, was he? No. No. He thought Sherlock Holmes was an housing estate. Never. Aye. And he thought that the stock market was a cattle auction in Erford. Besides that, he didn't have to walk on the water. No? No. There was a bloody bridge 50 metres away. Try me out there, bait, Ben. What do you think? Oh, I think it is, mate. I'm getting a bit, a bit hungry. You're wasting away here. Yeah? I think that's yours. Oh, that's good. Was they ever ready? Was what ever ready? Them batteries. What? What batteries? Them batteries what run out. I don't know. My God. Your missus does you pay with them fiddles, don't she? Oh, my missus don't make them. Who made that then? Oh, Mary. <laughs> so why was Georgie fishing for sausages? Eh? Hey? Well, you said he was fishing for sausages. Well, George didn't like bloody fish, did he? Oh. Seems we lost quite a few of our friends and relatives to the liquid forms just lately. How's that happened then? Well, Uncle Claymore got himself drowned in three weeks ago. What, him has worked in the spirit factory? Ah. How'd that happen then? 
He fat, fat little fat, fat whiskey, didn't he? What a way to go. Ah, trouble was, when they tried to get him out, he was like a man possessed. He said he was in the kingdom of heaven. Wish I'd been there. Ah, oh, trouble was when they cremated him. He burned solid for three days. You heard from your ma lately? Yeah, I had a letter from her the other day. Good news or bad? I think I've got it on my ear. I'll read it to you, Anne. Yeah. Dear son, I'm writing this letter slow because I knows you can't read fast. We don't live where we did when we left home. Your dad read in the newspaper that most accidents happens within 20 miles of your home. So he thought it better that we moved. I can't send you the address because the last family that lived here before took the house number when they moved. So as they wouldn't have to change their address. If you come to visit us, I think we'll be easy to find because there's a shop at the end of the road and a post box on the other side. This place is really nice. It even has one of them newfangled washing machines we've been hearing about. It's a bit slow though. I put a load in last week, pulled the chain and I ain't seen them since. The weather here is pretty good. It only rained twice last week. The first time for three days and the second time for four. Oh, remember that coat you wanted me to send you? Your Uncle Stanley said it would be too heavy to send it in the mail with the buttons on. So he cut them off and put them in the pockets. Your brother John locked his keys in the car yesterday. We was really worried because it took him two hours to get me and your dad out. Your sister had a baby this morning. But I haven't found out what it is yet. So I don't know if you're an aunt or an uncle. But he looks just like your brother. <laughs> Three of your friends went off the bridge in a pickup truck. Ralphie was driving. He rolled down the window and swam to safety. Your other two friends were in the back. Sorry to say they both drowned. Because they couldn't get the tailgate down. There ain't much more news at this time. Nothing much has happened. Love, Mum. Oh, P.S. I was going to send you some money, but I sealed the envelope before I remembered to put it in. <laughs> Time I started booking my holiday for this year, I think. I got one or two places in mind for you. Yeah, but this year I want to do something different. Oh, uh. Ah, oh, two years ago... You advised me to go to Skegness. You enjoyed that, didn't you? Yeah, we did. But Mary got herself pregnant. Oh? Ah, oh, and last year, you advised me to go to Torquay. Had a good time, didn't you? I certainly did. But then again, Mary got herself pregnant again. Oh? So what's going to be different this time, then? This time, I'm taking Mary with me. <laughs> <laughs> 